The David Pakman Show at davidpakman.com. As we predicted yesterday, the recall election of Scott Walker did not go well for people on the side of labor, workers, logic, reason, thinking, and uh, critical thought of any kind because Scott Walker handily defeated uh, Tom Barrett. Now, it's not all bad, and I got email, I got a lot of emails about this, and there's a few different things I want to talk about. Number one is I got a lot of emails from people saying, I didn't do a good enough job of discussing how President Obama and uh, kind of national Democrats didn't really do a good enough job, weren't really vocal about their support for the recall of Scott Walker. And this is absolutely true, right, Lewis? And we could explore different reasons why this may have been the case. But it's very true that there was really no national support. I mean, you didn't hear uh, a resounding, let's get rid of Scott Walker from President Obama. And remember, President Obama is the guy who back in 2008 or 2007, I, I forget exactly when it was, said he would be out there on the picket lines in support of workers. And when this all started in Wisconsin, President Obama was certainly not on any picket lines, Lewis. Uh, why, why might this have been? Why didn't we see? Uh, more national support for this recall effort. This may be stupid, but uh, on Obama's behalf, maybe it's just because he's focusing on on the election. I no, mean, come on. This is the idea that really. I mean, is he really? Good? He wasn't focusing on the election when he was completely missing from the Wisconsin labor debate starting, you know, a year or two ago. I mean, that, that okay, doesn't. I don't well, buy it's that. Crunch time now. But he, the the point is, he wasn't involved then or now, so we can't say the reason is because now he's campaigning. So we're saying, why was he never involved? Or that's what we're, you're asking? There was never national support. Really, it, it was not. It was a local issue. It was relegated to kind of people that work primarily with topics related to labor, people like Mike Elk from In These Times. And, and I feel like it should remain a local issue. No, it's not. Absolutely not. You don't think it should? This is opening the door. This has reinforced now that you can attack labor. And yeah, there was a recall election, but... It didn't work. And Scott Walker, we're basically reinforcing, number one, that Scott Walker can do basically whatever he wants, but also, number two, Lewis, that when you have money, you win, okay? And that's the reality, because if we actually look at the numbers, this was a 53 to 46 victory for Scott Walker, right? Um, and he had the overwhelming share of the money. I think something like 87% of the money spent was spent by or on behalf of Scott Walker. Now, if we actually look at that, this may be one thing we can maybe take some comfort in, which is that to get 46% of the vote, as Tom Barrett did, while only spending 13% of the money, that's pretty good. That's a pretty good return on investment. That definitely shows something. It shows that you needed money to go above and beyond really how people were feeling to win this thing. Because to get 46% of the vote with only 13% of the money, you still lost to money in the aggregate, but proportionally, you did pretty well with, on, with only 13% of the money. So perhaps if Obama went to Wisconsin and started trying to educate voters on, on the dangers of, uh, of, of what Scott Walker wants to do with, with unions and, and all that, perhaps the money wouldn't have mattered? Obama should have been more involved. The, the, uh, president, the president could have counterbalanced that effect, incredible effect, of the outrageous amount of money that Scott Walker had spent on his behalf in Wisconsin in this. There's no question about it. I don't know. I don't know if it would have been as effective as you think.